Well, we're all ready for a nice uh, winter meal, country chicken pot pie. We're going to do that in a nice skillet today. So we're going to do a skillet pot pie. We've got all the ingredients up here. What I did here is I took some nice thigh meat and I seasoned it up real well with some uh, Goya seasoning, some garlic, a little bit of olive oil. I baked it off till it was nice and tender. And then I cut it up into nice little cubes and strips. I started off my sauce by taking a nice uh, mushroom stock. I boiled my mirepoix in there, which is my carrots, onions, and celery, which you see right here. I pulled out my carrots, onions, and celery once they were tender. And I thickened up my stock with a roux. Traditionally, that is called a velouté. Once I hit that velouté, I took a, about three ounces of heavy cream, and I added it to that, and I creamed it up real nice. What we have up here up front is our pie crust. I made a savory pie crust. You can check out that recipe in one of our other videos. So basically, it's, uh, at this point again, it's real simple. We're gonna take our chicken, we're gonna place it down on the bottom of our skillet that's already been pre-greased. Okay, I got a little more chicken than I need, so I'm not gonna overstuff it. I'm actually gonna take a little bit out. You don't wanna overstuff this, okay? We're gonna take our vegetables. We're going to place our vegetables in there. If you like a lot of vegetables, put a little bit extra. But you got about 75% uh, chicken, about 25% uh, vegetables. I'm only going to pour maybe about 4 ounces of the sauce in there. Let it settle down to the bottom. Give a little bit of help there. Once again, you don't want to put too much of the cream in there. The key to a nice pot pie, once again, is baking or cooking them vegetables ahead of time so you end up with a lot of moisture. We've taken our pie dough, which I'll open it up. All we did was put that in, fold that in quarters so that we can easily transfer. We had more pie dough than the size of the pan because what we're gonna do is we're gonna pinch that as we bring it over. to create a nice little crust. Once you get your crust, you can go ahead and push that down a little bit. And then, uh, we're gonna take a little bit of Crisco and spray that real nice so we can get a nice golden brown crust. We're going to bake that for about 45 minutes. The temperature of 350. Alright, we're going to work together our savory pie crust. We got a double recipe here, so I'm going to spout out a single recipe, which is going to be four and a half cups of flour and one teaspoon of my trusted Goya adobo seasoning. Just gonna give that a little bit of a mix. So you know we have that in there, we're not gonna put any standard salt in there. We are gonna add one and a half cups of shortening. You can very easily use butter for this in substitution. You'll get a flakier pie crust. The thing with butter versus shortening, I'll talk to you a couple of the pros and cons as we mix this into a nice mealy, coarse flour mixture. Benefits of shortening, pull it right from the cupboard. Start making your pie crust almost immediately. No problems, very easy to mix. Butter, you have to do one of two things. You either have to let it sit out overnight about 24 hours, let it soften to room temperature. Or you can cut it in very small cubes and that will allow the easier incorporation of the fat 
to flour. Now what we're looking for here is for it to all be equally distributed. We're not looking for any large chunks of butter or shortening. So what you want to do is pick up the small or the large pieces of clumpy flour and see if they fall apart just like they are right now. If they weren't doing that, then that would mean they are still clumps of nothing but butter or shortening and you would have to kind of pinch them in a little bit more. Now once we get this nice mealy mixture is what we're looking for there, it's perfect. Okay. What I did was I've already mixed up my egg and my water. I have three quarters of a cup of water and approximately one quarter cup of egg. Now when I say that, I mean you really should measure your egg out. Otherwise you could very well have not enough moisture or too much moisture. And what I mean by that is you have large eggs, you have small eggs, medium sized eggs, and when you use a small egg versus a large egg, what you end up doing is not giving yourself enough moisture. I'm going to pull this out of the bowl, set it on my table, and you'll notice that it's not sticking to my hands anymore, it's not sticking to the table, and it's forming really nice, a really nice dough. Okay, now what I did when I made this, is once again I made a double recipe. My single recipe gives you eight nine inch pie crusts. Okay, I got a double recipe so I'm automatically going to cut that in half, right? I'm going to cut it in half again, each half and half and then down the center. There's my eight pie crusts that I need. Okay? And what I'm going to do, I'm going to eliminate all but one. And I'm going to bring out a little bit of flour. Put it on my work surface. I'm going to start by getting my round shape because I'm going to be doing a rye out with pie dough. You want to go in multiple directions to try to keep your shape. You'll notice that this dough should smooth out really nice and easy. Start losing your shape. Towards the end, just go ahead and reshape it a little bit. Once you start uh, doing this enough, you'll start finding out to what thickness you want to roll that out to you but it should be about an eighth of an inch and then to do your transfer you just fold it up like I just did all right fold it up grab your pie and you're gonna put that in your pie now let's just say by chance you're using a square square pan or you're using a casserole dish the only difference is you're gonna start out with more of a rectangle right off the bat no sense in putting out a rye round pie crust if you're not doing a round pie. Yeah, there's some more of my flour so I don't stick. And it's just that easy. We're doing a 9 inch or 9 by 13. This would just make it. If you felt like that was a little too thin or you were stretching a little too far, you can go ahead and put another pie crust together. Okay. There's our two types of pie dough. Enjoy your day.